MLB is discussing a radical six-inning minimum for starting pitchers. This isn't your typical breakdown video, but this just came out. Figured, I'm free. I'm sitting here. Let's discuss it very quickly for anyone that's interested. So, if you go to the source article, which is Jesse Rogers, ESPN staff, it talks about MLB wanting to change some rules. They've been changing rules a lot, to their credit, to make the game better because it got to a pretty stale and bad place, in my opinion, and in the opinion of many others. Uh, resulting in rule changes in uh, 2017, 2018, 2019, going into 2021, that area. It's like, oh, this isn't good. There's not a lot of action, not a lot of balls in play. So they've made some drastic rule changes already. I, as a baseball enthusiast, have loved the rules. This is what they're saying here. They're saying the commissioner's office wants starting pitchers to spend more time on the mound. I agree with that. Give me heavyweight bouts. Give me Pedro versus Clemens. Give me marquee names. These two guys are going to be sharing the same space, trading places on the same mound, back and forth, going at it. They're going to face, it's Pedro versus A-Rod in the first inning, and there's going to be three rounds of Pedro versus A-Rod, and they got to mix and match and make changes and make adjustments in the game within the game. Yes, that's baseball. That's the baseball I love. What's happened is teams get so smart. They realize pitchers stink the third time through. Instead of training pitchers to be better the third time through, they've just kind of nixed that and being like, only the best of the best get to face batters three times. The rest will just take them out and go to the bullpen. It's a winning strategy. No one's negating that. It's a winning strategy. It works out. It adds up. Thought process is, is it the best entertainment? Is it the most fun product? So if you go to the, the beginning of what baseball is trying to do is they want pitcher, pitchers to go deeper in the games. They want them to spend less time on the operating room, less time in the operating room undergoing surgery on their arms. So this is what uh, an MLB official said. We are interested in increasing the amount of action in the game. Yes, I am also interested in that. Ball in play is the most exciting version of the game. We are interested in restoring the prominence of starting pitcher. Yes, I just said that. And reducing the prevalence of pitching injuries. Yes. So what's happened is uh, bullpenning was a coin, was a term coined in 2018 or, or late 2017. What, maybe late 2017. And it was like instead of having your starting pitcher go, just have them go one time through. Maybe that's two innings, maybe that's three. Maybe it's just one inning uh, to get the best hitters out and then switch it to another guy and use a lot of arms. And the thought that you wanted starters to go deep in the games kind of became erased and teams said, we don't care about that at all. Uh, we actually want to pull them early, bring in another guy because we'd rather not let the hitters get comfortable and see the same pitcher three times. I think we've shifted out of that, especially with the sh with uh, all the other changes the league has made and with seeing how hard it is to have that many guys on a pitching staff and using that many pitchers every every series makes you dip into your minor leagues, makes the shuttle up and down uh, of players, so that's tough. So uh, they, they're they looking to get out of that. I think teams right now want every pitcher to go six innings, but we've... And, and pitchers surely are trying to go six innings. They want to go deep into games. They don't want to get pulled. It's the front office and the analytics that are pulling them. But I think in the last five years, we, we haven't like been developing starters to do this. I think that's going to change because teams are now saying we need a starting staff that can eat innings. It's better to do that. So I do think everyone is, is in agreement on getting to those end results. Now, how you get to those end results is where you're going to have a lot of fights. And the the radical idea of a six-inning minimum, I don't think that's ever going to happen. I don't think the Players uh, Association will ever allow that to happen because it's like, what if he's hurt? Now we got to fake injuries. Uh, he's got to pitch through it. All that stuff. That's the most headliney one. So they use that. We're going to use that because it gets you in. And then we can talk about what's actually going on. Uh, this is my favorite one that we've discussed on our podcast, Talking Yanks, Talking Baseball a lot. A double hook for the DH, meaning if you take your starting pitcher out, you lose the DH. And now the new pitcher has to hit, which means you now have to go to your bench and use your bench more to pinch hit. It's kind of like, you know, it's an American League game. And then once this, you take your starting pitcher out, it becomes a old National League game with your user bench. 
what I think they could do is they could say, if you take your pitcher out before the sixth inning, you lose the DH, and now you have to play the rest of the game, mixing and matching from your bench, maybe letting your pitcher just take an at-bat because it's a blowout or it's two outs and no one on. Um, that I'm interested in. It brings a lot more strategy into play, and the value of going six innings is going to be a lot more and the money is might the money might shift to pitchers who can go six innings rather than pitchers who can come in for two innings, throw as hard as they can, throw the nastiest slider they can, and get those uh, outs in two innings because that is leading to a lot of injuries and a lot of operations is training these guys to just come in and unleash as fast as possible and throw the nastiest breaking pitches as possible and strike everyone out for two innings. That's all we need. That's leading to a lot of injuries. Uh, and relievers don't get paid well, then they get injured and you're just getting cheap pitchers. So like the players association, players union shouldn't like that. They should, this would say, Hey, can you get six innings and, and limit damage along the way because that, that's going to be huge if that means we have to keep our DH the whole game, right? So people hate new stuff. People take the worst version of what they are try- what might be the change and they forget about what the goal is. I think the goal here, what Major League Baseball is looking to accomplish, I fully endorse and agree with. You have to test all this stuff. You have to get everyone on board. You have to make sure the players are going to be actually healthier and there's no faults. And there might be a ton of faults and ton of bad stuff from this. But I am happy that they're addressing it and at least looking into it. Because I love the shift change. I love the time clock. I like a lot of that stuff. Give me heavyweight bouts of starting pitchers. Give me balls in play. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to just say six innings and you're out. So they also are saying that uh, limit the size of the pitching staff. I don't think they're going to do that either because that's less jobs. So I don't think the players union is going to agree to that. But the, I'm the, the players union on the surface right now, I don't like mandatory six innings because it's going to get guys hurt. I don't like limiting rosters because that's less jobs for players. But if all of a sudden pitching six innings uh, is of value, and that's where the money's going to be. And if guys don't pitch six innings, now there's going to be uh, you t- you lose your DH. Well, then bench players are going to start becoming veterans again who know how to play the game. Like Joe Girardi said, bench players are supposed to be vets who, like, you know, can't play every day because, you know, their body's wearing down, but they're still, like, pool hosts at the end of his career, still good against lefties. They still have value here. We've gone away from that because no one wants to pay a bench player any money. They just want to use a rookie on a minimum contract and limit his experiences uh, and time. But if you're going to lose your DH in the fifth because the pitcher imploded, you're going to need better bench players, which means you're going to need some vets who you trust to come into that game, which means you should have more hitters getting paid and that, you know, middle area of free agency should be better. So I haven't thought this completely through. I'm sure you guys will have much more insightful opinions on the nuances of it and the bad and the good in the comment section. I'm excited to read that and find out more, but, uh, Overall, it's a shocking headline that I think people are going to be upset about. But if you look at what they're aiming to do, I agree with it. And that is a quick update on an article that just came out today. If you enjoy baseball talk like this, talking Yanks, talking baseball, baseball today, JM Baseball, Cherry Pinstripe, Shea State, we got a ton of it. We just got a ton of it. Thank you very much. See you later.